Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, February 27th. I'm Tamia Chanel. And I'm Kyle Swanigan. It's crazy having a full week of school. Especially with all the sports going on. Did you see the intense girls game last night? Nope, but I'm waiting for Madison Carter to tell us all about that. Well, let's get to the show. In this week's Club of the Week segment, we visited the Gay Straight Alliance, a group of individuals looking to work against homophobia and transphobia on campus. Reporter Charles Lemon has the story. GSA is a club where we are accepting of all people on campus, whether you're gay, straight, bisexual, pansexual, asexual. Um, we believe that if it's you, it's cool. You know, in this room, whatever you say is sacred. There is no wrong or right answer. There's no wrong opinion. Um, we're very loving in here. We're kind of like a family already, even though we've kind of been together for such a short amount of time. The importance of GSA Club is that we want everyone to recognize and feel, um, especially at Antelope High School, that they are valued, that they're important, that they have a purpose, that it doesn't matter how they feel. You know, if, if they feel like they're attracted to the same gender, if they feel like they are trapped in the wrong gender, if they feel like they are um, unique in some way that they're not sure how to express it, GSA is, is the club for them. It's nice to see the GSA Club active on campus again. Now over to Anastasia Gokul with this week's ASV Minute. Hello, Titans. It is Anastasia Gokul here from the Student Gov Publicity Committee. This week, we had the Boys and Girls Playoff Week with a strong atmosphere and positive attitudes. Great job, Titans. Also, big thank you to Red Dawn for being loud and positive as always. From March 2nd through the 31st, we will be starting a fundraiser for Pennies for Patients. There will be a competition between Girls vs. Boys to kick off our Girls vs. Boys rally. You will have the opportunity to drop off any money towards your gender at the stage anytime during lunch or during the day. That's all for this week, Titans. Now back to Kyle and Tamia. Thanks, Anastasia. This week is just full of sports news, so we're going to head over to Madison Carter in this week's Sports Corner. Good morning, Titans. I'm Madison Carter in the Sports Corner. There's big news in the SAC Joaquin Section Division II Basketball Playoffs. The number two Lady Titans defeated 10th seeded Elk Grove last night, 57-53. The Lady Titans were trailing by 12 points with four minutes left in the game. With the win, the girls advanced to the semifinals at University of the Pacific in Stockton on Tuesday night. The girls' so far successful playoff run started with a 76-31 win against the Bayer Patriots. Reporter Isaiah Weatherford has the highlights from Tuesday night's game. On Tuesday night, our Lady Titans kicked off the Sac Joaquin section playoffs as they faced off against the Bayer Patriots. The Titans came out fast shooting 3 after 3 in a night where they would finish with 11 three-pointers. This gave them an early lead of 21 to 2. The Titans also had fast hands all night as they got into the passing lanes and came away with a total of 21 steals on the night, led by sophomore Aaliyah Hardy with six steals. Passing did not seem to be a problem for the Titans either as they found their teammates 18 times for assists, leading to a 42-8 lead for the Titans. Later in the game, the Titans did not ease up as they played aggressively and led by junior Angelica Balon and sophomore Aaliyah Hardy, grabbed 33 offensive rebounds. The Titans played fast and played hard to end the night with a final score of 76 to 31. Johnson, who had the highest point scoring during this game, which was 18. You won this game 76 to 31. What did you guys do to come out and prepare for this team? Um, well, we just practiced really hard, you know. Um, we didn't really know what we were going into, so we just took it however it came. So we just tried really hard. Okay, and you guys are playing a higher ranking seed on Friday. What are you guys going to do to come out and prepare for them? Well, um, we don't really know who we're playing, but we're just going to try to practice hard and you really good in practice, so. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. The boys' varsity team travels to third rank St. Mary's of Stockton, facing the Rams tonight in the second round at 7 p.m. For the first time on Wednesday night, Titan TV live streamed the boys' varsity playoff game against Bear Creek. 
It was a close game in the first half, tied at 23, but the Titans dominated in the second half, led by a 20-7 third quarter blitz, leading to a 65-48 victory. Reporter Alex Bittner brings you the highlights. On Wednesday night, six-seeded Antelope Titans faced off against the 11 seeded Bear Creek Bruins at home in the first round of the San Joaquin section Division II playoffs. The game started off as a tight defensive struggle, with both teams preventing easy points from being scored in the first quarter. Rapid passing by the Titans and key steals by Mr. Harriel and Everett Campbell enabled Antelope to score quickly early on. However, a high scoring performance with 16 points total by number 11 Aiden Green of Bear Creek kept the Bruins even with the Titans at 23 points going into halftime. After halftime, the Titans gained the upper hand with an aggressive offensive style, outscoring the Bruins by 13 in the third quarter. Junior Tim Strajaus dominated the Bruin defense with several rebounds and 19 points overall as the Tynes led 43-30. The Tynes resisted a comeback by the Bruins in the fourth and secured the win with two consecutive three-pointers by junior Devin Elmer. Antelope came away with the win with a final score of 65-48 and will travel to play third-seeded St. Mary's of Stockton today. Alex Bittner, Time TV News. Okay, we are with junior Tim Strajas, who had 19 points during this game, and probably the best play of the game, which is the circus shot. You guys were tied 23 at halftime. What did you guys do to pump yourself up to win this game by so many points? Um, Coach Rich just kind of yelled at us in the locker room, and uh, we just didn't want this to be our last game. Today and tomorrow, wrestler Nazar Small will be competing in Masters in the 170-pound weight class. Well, with all those sports updates, my time is up. Now back to Kyle and Tamia. Thanks, Madison. It's nice to have Sports Corner up and going again. It really is. As for other news, however... Wait! There's one more thing. Blue and black or white and gold? Thanks, Twitter. That's all we have, Titans. <laughs> and have an awesome Friday. And an even better weekend.